Alice Cooper, the man, the myth, the legend. The stage theatrics have become the stuff of legend. Snakes, guillotines, hangings, electric chairs, and characters from all walks of imaginary horror. But what if I told you he started off as psychedelic? The year is 1969. The group debuts their album, Pretties For You. Promos reflect what the band was about, this psychedelic, trippy, atmospheric vibe. While the band themselves haven't gained much traction, if any at all, word was out there were about five guys dressed in women's clothes with long hair. Talk about scandalous. Alice and the band will make their presence known at the Toronto Rock concert. Here, they are demolishing feathered pillows and throwing themselves around. When, of course, a chicken comes on stage and Alice throws it back. Obviously, as we know, nothing about this incident will be mentioned again. Two years later, in 1971, the pieces are in order with Shep Gordon and Bob Ezrin. Gone are the days of being a psych Zappa band. Now, they are every parent's worst nightmare. The stage now revolves around Alice being a sick individual. The straitjacket is introduced when singing Ballad of Dwight Fry. The electric chair is now on stage, as seen here. The song Dead Babies has Cooper demolish a baby doll as blood squirts out. This results in him being hung. Gang fights on stage for gutter cats versus the Jets, accompanied by blood curling yells when stabbed. <laughs> the use of a guillotine. Top it off with a dazzling performance of schools out, the stage has become a canvas. I wake up in the basement. I'm so hungry. I'm dry. Sleepwalking. Theatrics are at an all-time high, from huge demons and the way we are when we come down. to witches.
find some skeletons. This is also the beginning of him throwing around a full-size doll for Cold Ethel. Go left, go, go left. Then singing to it for Only Woman Believe. There are a lot of steps that went on this tour, and to think you had to do it all over every other day? Brutal! From the Anaheim Stadium in Southern California, Fun Productions presents Alice Cooper and Friends. For the King of the Silver Screen tour, there really isn't much in terms of footage. Here is a live music television special in 1977, Alice Cooper and Friends. Dubbed by Alice himself, his worst live performance ever. This is when Alice is way deep in alcohol and it shows. What is known about the tour was that it featured a large movie screen as Alice is singing in his alter ego, Maurice Escargot. With, and yes, your eyes are not deceiving you, Chicken furries walking around with Tommy guns. While it is funny to see him poke light at his chicken incident, the way it's done is past comical, and in my opinion, it's just plain goofy. We are gathered here to debate the sanity of patient number 1111, also known as Alice Cooper. The events of this case are bizarre. Frankly, I'm baffled. So I will show them to you for your judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, the strange case of Alice Cooper. Cyclops is back, and with footage of alcohol being placed in bottles, Alice comes out to see. While he was able to be sober from alcohol, he did unfortunately pick up crack cocaine. This is why he's very thin and almost gasping for air. People come out dressed in various national alcohol beverages and dance around. breaks down and tries to cut his wrist with broken glass. <laughs> Nurses come out wearing large headpieces and prance around Cooper as he sings Nurse Rosetta. For the song Wish I Was Born Beverly Hills, Cheryl comes out along with a jockey as they gain this ridiculously long car. What's cool about it is that it actually folds up at the end and drives around like a regular sized car. It's like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. To 
finish it off, the song Inmates were all crazy. People would dress as various characters in costumes, come out and dance around, adding a sense to insanity to the stage. as they come. 1980, flush the fashion, the blackout era. Al is deep into cocaine at this point and will be for the next few years. He ditched the vaudevillian look and replaced it with a soldier of fortune appearance. Sporting a jacket with many pins and the flag of the US on the back, he marches the stage occasionally carrying said flag. The stage is very stripped down, very underground looking. The Tom Snyder show has him come out of a locker with smoke spewing and the band downing military gear. The Special Forces logo looms large. Live performances are very raw looking. This is Scores Out. It's no suit or king, just a skinny Alice with dead long hair. While not live, Alice Cooper at Paris has this post-apocalyptic setting with trash and destroyed debris everywhere. He dons a special forces look and at one point downs a battered patient as he sings with amputated mono parts. Another part it has him in a bomber jacket with sunglasses singing the right. The albums during this period I love? The live footage? No, I don't. It's too disturbing and just downright sad. Luckily, he gets clean and will return in 1986. Carrying the baby doll for billion dollar babies, he stabs it and raises it in the air. Alice acting as Frankenstein as he builds a robotic creature that comes to life and attacks him.
the song the world needs guts. He shows how much guts he has as he takes his sword and slices his arm. Snakes are in the picture once again, as well as the guillotine. The decapitated head is much more gruesome with neck muscles and tendons being visible. Great stuff all around supporting his thrash metal era. Breaking out of a trash can, I was just looking like a midlife crisis dad. While the stage has some resemblance of an Alice Cooper show, it is mostly a hair metal gig. I would say though, Alice Cooper rocks a fedora. Billion Dollar Babies is about the same, the sword holding money, he wipes the bills around his groin area and throws them out. However, the cool part is that he does show up as the character. When he plays the song Steven, doctors grab him and hold him hostage backstage. He gets his makeup on in a black whale jacket. <laughs> Characters come out such as Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Krueger. Singing ballads right fry, the nurse comes out, messes with him, only to get choked to death. <laughs> Alice returns back into his glam at old time, singing his mega hit, Poison. While the album and era heavily debated, it did shoot Alice back into the stratosphere. And as a fan, good for you. While I wasn't able to find much on the Hey Stupid era, we do have the giant skeleton in the background. I would say this is much better looking than the skeleton you see on the Feed My Frankenstein video. You then get this cool moment with the female photographer who gets kidnapped and then strapped onto this lab table. It starts to rise in the air as light shocks the area. It lowers down and the woman has been replaced by the doll.
there's also this great event revolving the projector screen in the back. I'll show you all of it. It's actually pretty cool. I didn't know where to put this, but he's locked up in a cradle singing wind up toy. You know, it is a crime that this song hasn't been played live for like forever.
have we here? Brave new visitors? I am the controller. The only piece of technology left in the city of the dead. A lifeless, godless world run by the sadistic megalomaniac, Alice Cooper. My function is to draw you in. But there is some humanity left in me. Go. Go now while you have a chance. Before it starts. Before it's too late. If he catches me warning you, he'll kill me. If I'm fortunate. What have we become here on Brutal Planet? Alice Cooper plus industrial metal equals perfection. The stage says it all. Everything is apocalyptic looking. I love the way he came out, commanding attention, dressed in a red coat and hair sticks. This is a meaner looking coup. Goes to Hell is much more vicious with a female dancer dressed in fetish leather. With the song Pick Up the Bones, he has a bag full of them, skull in hand and even an arm. These look like the arms of my father so strong And the ring on this finger means my grandmother's gone Baby Betty has been cursed because she is conjoined with some rabid werewolf Typical fashion, you kick it around and stab it. There's also a great drum solo by Eric Singer, who does it with torched sticks. We do get the usual events, such as the straight jacket and the nurse coming out. Alice breaks out, grabs her, and throws her in the container. She'll be back though.
He then gets decapitated. Everyone is happy and spits out his blood. Family fun. The nurse comes out, grabs his head, then walks over to the other side of the stage and puts him in a Frankenstein monster tube. Smoke fills the chamber and Alice comes out. Awesome stuff. Two thousand nine, the theater of death. Would you guess it that there's a lot of death at this concert? While singing the song "Wicked Young Man," he gowns in this Nazi-looking attire. He then finds a goon, loudly sings, then finishes the guy off. What's awesome here is that Nurse Rosetta gets played. Wheeled out by a nurse, he's already on stage. I like his attire, sporting along came a long spider and overall a style of clothing. The nurse removes her coat to reveal the metal plate, then takes a stool and creates sparks. Another death revolves around decapitation. Shocking, I know. One cool contraption is his Iron Maiden design. He gets thrown in it, and a nurse teases him by slowly pushing the spikes in, only to dash over and finish him off. Public hangings return to the stage. Alice seems to have nine lives. There's even a large syringe that gets injected into his crotch. Ow. But hey, it's one hell of a scene and one hell of a show. Things are down packed once again. There's a cool scene at the Olympia when he puts on a gas mask, gets onto a vertical table, and things just start smoking and flashing. Then Frank and Alice comes out. <laughs>
This current tour has a castle backdrop. As Alice stated, it's very haunted house carnival-like, but there's a lot of cool stuff that goes on here. There are two girls taking pictures, and one goes on top of the castle only to have Jason emerge. <laughs> billion dollar babies, there's this huge inflatable baby with tattoos and makeups on it. There's even a catapult that shoots out the money and confetti. He even sings roses on white lace, which is terrific, and his wife comes out as Gail dressed in a wedding gown dinner. The song Steven is played as two people in baby doll masks bring him out. end of the day, Alice Cooper delivers both the music and performance. He is the godfather of shock rock and I cannot wait to see him live next year. Thank you for watching.